Yo, yo, what up, guys? We are starting out a little late in the afternoon. As you can tell by the title, we are about to get some really good pictures done. I'll throw up homie's Instagram here. And the first spot, I'll throw up again a picture here. I want to recreate this picture with a better camera. I like really, really love that shot, but it's just like, A, there's not enough detail. There's not enough, um, like, the, the blacks are too dark, so you don't get to see the detail in the grill or the wheels even. I just really like how, like, the road kind of tapers back in that picture. I don't know, just something about the the blue versus the gravel or the, you know, whatever. And just the way everything looks is really good. I just want it like 10 times the quality. So we're heading to this spot first. And then he's got some ideas for some other spots. He's actually a Volkswagen or was a Volkswagen guy. I guess kind of still is an enthusiast. But he got, he had a GTI tuned by EQT um, at one point. And I guess he sold it to get his truck. I don't know. I have never met this guy, but uh, I went over his Instagram. It seemed pretty good. He just had posted up in the Virginia car scene page saying that he uh, had front or had time this weekend to do a shoot. And I've been wanting to do a shoot, though I wanted to wait until I had a front lip on the car and a little bit more camber up front to have it set how the car is going to look for at least the, you know, a little bit of a future. I do want to get the calipers yellow and. Uh, couple other small details on the car but it'll be pretty close we can do of course another one once i have the car completely set the way i want but the only other good pictures i have are from sean at the uh home mechanic meet and uh i don't know i didn't have any camber then and not not these tires and the diffuser wasn't on there yet i don't know if i had tint yet either i might have had tint i don't really remember but anyway we're almost to the spot all right guys we're out here david's doing his thing the sun actually kind of went away thankfully i think today was like the hottest day of the year damn near 100 degrees with the humidity it's ridiculous it looks good out here the breeze feels super nice doing his thing got a wide angle lens out do some more shots i want to check out his car he's got a vert e36 slammed nice day to have the top down too i'd like to see this is what i would like for a daily got the car seat in the back top down shit all me maybe one day i dig it Trying to figure out how to set the car up here. Some cool ass tanks and shit. All right, guys, we just found a pretty neat spot. I've always wanted a picture like this. Ah, I can turn off the headlights and just have the. Okay, I'm gonna try a few with them on. Okay. I didn't realize it was dark enough for them already. This looks so different in person than what it does on this damn GoPro. This is gonna turn out dope. Hell yeah. I don't know when I'll get these pictures, but you guys have got to check these out. I said, I, I already put his Instagram there. I'll put it there again. And mine, of course, where you'll see them. We're going to go back up to that cannon over there. they got some really good shots right here. We're going to go over to the cannon, back up to that. I think that might be it for today. I'm not sure how much he wants to do. We'll find out. <laughs>
up. It's a little bit over a week later since the photo shoot and I got all the photos in as you guys hopefully just saw or I'm about to play them for you. But uh, so before this past, so we just went up to Pennsylvania and back. For, I was a best man at one of my best buds weddings. Uh, shout out to Maddie and Nicole. We had an awesome wedding or they had an awesome wedding. It was an awesome time. We all, a bunch of us pitched in, about 10 of us pitched in and got this huge house up in the mountains. Like you had to travel a couple miles on dirt gravel roads to get to it. It was a spot on 32 acres with a pool and a nice wraparound porch and massive garage place is really really sick i should have took more pictures of it but um the car did great it is the longest road trip i've had so far on the whole verkline rear end and with the car being uh you know pretty close to eating up my fenders it did great I mean, we did kind of bottom out a couple times but nothing crazy um it was about 14 hours in the car with the baby this weekend and she did phenomenal but before we left i uh did a little change real quick and uh and some some liquid molly did it from fcp so i'm about to put the oil back in these drugs to send back to fcp to uh get my money back and then i got plugs for whenever that comes up probably do plugs at like 15k um we're at like i think like 11,500 or so now but uh i wanted to go over the oil filter show you guys that so i did the first oil change on the car at like i think like 400 miles or no Sorry, it was like 2,400 miles. And then now again at 10,000, it was like 10,200. So um, it looks clean for the most part. I mean, nothing to be too concerned. This is the only like actual silver piece I found. And there is like some black flakiness in there. Um, one of these had like a lot of black flakes. Let me try and find it. This one you can kind of see. Um, um there's one specifically that just had a ton it on this side i thought it was dirt at first because this oil filter had just been kind of sitting out in the garage for days now which one was it one of these had a uh a ton let me find hold on i think i actually wiped out the real bad one but i mean this is what it is nothing too alarming really just getting the engine broken in so there's that um so some kind of big ish news if you guys are even still watching at this point we're selling this house we've been here for about a year and a month and uh the value on the house is going up i don't know like eighty thousand dollars so we uh really didn't want this house to begin, begin with this is just like the only place we could find within the time frame we had that had a decent garage in this area, it isn't terrible. It's a couple blocks down. Like there's a lot of crime, there's shooting. You don't know whether it's fireworks or people getting shot. Turns out more often than not, it's people getting shot than fireworks. So, um, you know, we just had a daughter. She's going on, she'll be four months old next week. So, you know, we'd like a place where we can actually like walk around the neighborhood and like maybe meet some other kids for her to play with and, and whatnot. And, yeah, the road's just kind of dusty. There's a lot of wrecks right out here on this main road. It's kind of loud. There's always cars, like bikes and trucks and sh shit just flying by and making all types. And there's a big bump here on the road and every time a big like semi full of junk hits this bump, like our whole house shakes. It's really weird. And a bunch of other random small things. So we're gonna get rid of it, make a nice profit. She can pay off most of her debt with her half of the money. And I am, uh, Probably gonna gamble a good bit of mine on the stock market. <laughs> I've uh, been having some really good luck lately, which leads me to my next thing. I was thinking of getting like uh, different camber plates, whether it be the O3 for camber or ca cam camster ones that add camber and caster, or the Euro Sport ones that give about a degree, which is what I'm aiming for. But I think I'm just gonna bite the bullet because I'm already gonna order the Verkline front subframe. I might as well just buy their arms. That way I can have dial in the exact amount of camber and caster that I want and uh, not have to worry about any of the extra bushing kits or subframe kits or you know dead set kits or any bracing, any anything. So I'm just, I think I'm just gonna order those and call it a day. And then I put in my request to order the front lip from uh, Sean over at It's Not Stock, the rigor front lip. So. The lip is gonna be ordered as soon as he gets back to me. The Verkline stuff, probably another week. I need a couple more good trades and um, I trade uh, options, stock options. So 
I think if I get the two trades I can do this week, I'm gonna order that stuff and just call it a day. I might as well just do it. Cause I don't want uh, to have to sacrifice it all. Like I want additional camber. I also, um, but I only want a degree. I also want a little bit of caster because that helps camber um, in corners. The more you turn your wheel, but the more caster you have, when you turn your wheel, you get more camber. So um, I want a little bit of that, but without rubbing. I had like nine or so degrees on my Golf R, but it was just a little too much. It was rubbing, it rubbed the fender liners out, but just barely. <laughs> so um, I think that's gonna happen, but look at how dirty my car is. This is the dirtiest I've ever had my car. Um, look at all the bugs on it. This is from driving in the it was like raining on dirt, nasty, stinky, gross roads. And these tires, by the way, are great. Like the RT660s, we just, like I said, we just took like a, I don't know, it was like 14 hour road trip in it. And uh, they were great. Not much road noise. She is just filthy, filthy, filthy. And once it, the sun starts going down today, we're actually gonna pull out the M and this and get these babies clean, but I don't know. I just wanted to let you guys know this thing, even on like the rougher suspension in the back, I'd say rougher, but more, I don't know, less give because uh, all the solid spherical bear bearings and stuff in the rear end, plus, you know, the ride height and the, the tire size and the type of tire, the car still rides great on the highway. No complaints all the way there, all the way back, even in the rain, um, even in the dirt and the gravel and the mud, the car did <laughs> fantastic. It actually really surprised me how well it took the dips and unexpected bumps and like we went over train tracks and the train tracks like in between the tracks were like dug out so it was like going over a bump and then into like a dip and then back up onto a track and down the car did great like i don't think a bottom out at all going up or down the mountains which i should i should have took more video and stuff we were there trying to put our phones down we didn't really have service anyway but just hang out with my boys i haven't seen in a while everybody came up from new mexico texas tennessee and we had this wedding up in Pennsylvania. So anyway, I'm gonna quit rambling. Um, like I said, car did great. And uh, Dave did really, really great with those pictures. They make me so happy. Check out my Instagram, check out his Instagram. And if you're in the Hampton Roads area, um, hit him up, tell him I sent you. And uh, yeah, I just love these pictures. I'm gonna post a couple more here, of my favorites. Anyway. We'll have to do this again once the lip is on and uh, we dial in the suspension a little bit further. Racing Lance is supposed to send some uh, stripes for the side of the car over and I want to put uh, some Verkline stuff on the outside too. I'm just not sure what yet. Let me know what you guys think. I think that's all I got. Um, we got racing coming up soon. I got guard this weekend. All types of stuff going on. We're going to be moving soon. Buy another house. Selling this house. So I'm going to try and keep the content rolling as much as I can. But uh, this month there just really wasn't much racing going on. So anyway, once again, thanks for watching. Catch you in the flip flop.